Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how you can make a um, minecart system that basically it allows you to make one long rail, but then you can pick whichever station to get off at instead of either having to stop at every single station or something like that. So I'll go ahead and start. We can just go all the way to the end. Then underneath this whole system, there's two wires that run parallel to each other, one carrying the signal this way and the other one carrying it in the opposite direction. And instead of a bunch of different signals uh, being carried by a bunch of different wires, then instead they can just be uh, a bunch of different signals carried by one wire and then being interpreted at each station. So say that we want to go to the Flatland station instead then whenever we press this button it'll send a unique signal that only the flatland station will understand so if we go ahead and come in here and then get a cart and then we can go ahead and go to the flatland station and only the flatland station track switch will be activated to let us off so it'll be right up here And so then we go and we get off, and then, as you can see, it's sitting there, and then we go and stop. Alright, so now that we're at the Flatland Station, came up with a unique problem. Since it's in the middle, then I had to be able to pick which direction to go. Originally, I just had a lever being able to switch whichever direction you'd want to go, but now... I have it set up so you can choose to go to the end station, which is down that direction, or the other two stations, which are off going down there. So now we can pick whichever station we want, and then it'll select the right track switch for us instead. So now whenever we summon a cart and take off, then it'll just take us straight off and go along our way. So, as you can see here, due to, due to the limited space, I had to leave a lever up here to be able to just pick whichever direction to go. But, so we can go back to the station down there. And, so since we're going, there's only one station down there, we don't have anything to pick here. Alright, so now we're coming into the Joel station. Okay. So, in my other videos I showed how to make uh, that tracks push it off, so to recycle the cart. So, there we go. So, let's see how it all works. Now, right now we're underneath one of the signal stations, which each one of these goes to a different button. So, based on whichever button you push, then it sends a different signal along the wire. So this first one here it has 11 different uh, redstone repeaters that are set on the fourth uh, setting so then they act as a timer. So then basically it sends two signals that are really far apart. Then here there's only eight so it'll send two signals that are a little, a little bit closer and these two are just reset signals. And then it sends the signal along this wire down here. Now, there's a bunch of these stations that interpret the signal. So, like this one, it will only accept the signal that is 11 uh, like repeaters long. So, as you can see here, I went ahead and set a delay on this one so you can actually see it work. There's the first signal and then whenever the second one comes through they'll activate it and then hit the memory switch which keeps it turned on so it makes the track be switched so now the reset button just resets everything and turns that off the reset button at each of the stations is exactly the same just to make sure that it resets all of them at once because the signal travels all the way down the line to each of the different stations. 
So, like, here's another one of the stations, but it's only got five repeaters, so it accepts a different signal. And then it travels all the way up the column, up to the tracks, which switches the tracks. And then there's also one more down here for the Flatland station. Okay, and then here it is, and it's got eight repeaters. Okay, so whenever you hit this test switch, then it'll go ahead and send the signal down through here. This test switch does the same thing that would come along the line, except it just allows you to actually see everything happening. So we'll go ahead and hit this test switch, and then we'll go up and see the track actually switch. So if we can beat it up, then okay, so they're still normal, and then there they switched. So now carts would get off here because this track goes this way and then would get off here. And then the reset button on each of them, every time that a cart gets off there's a reset button right after it. And what that does, it just goes down and changes the memory switch. So it basically just switches it off. So like this one, then it sends a signal down and then it switches them back. So it, everything resets itself. Okay, so now at each station, I have some kind of redundancy to allow it, even if there's a cart left in the station, then, like, say someone just forgot to eject it, but then whenever another cart's coming down, like this one from up here, then it hits a switch to eject it from the station, just to make sure that no one runs into each other and everything, so it just keeps everything running smoothly, and there's one like that at each of the stations.